A battle over a valuable mineral divides a town, a rebellious teacher who could separate that town from the United States altogether. This is major, folks. It's all part of the twists and turns of the CW's new series, The Republic of Sarah. Take a look. Hey, Miss Cooper, uh, can we talk to you real quick? Yeah, always. Um, we wanted to apologize for what we did today. Yeah, we're really sorry. Oh, yeah, guys, what you did today took guts. You saw an injustice, you tried to fix it. I could never be. Mm. I am very mad at you all for what you did today. You should have known better. It was totally out of line. I am so proud of you guys. <laughs> so joining us from the Republic of Sarah, please welcome Landry Bender. Good What's morning. What's up, Landry? Good morning. How are you guys? Good to see you. We're doing well. Okay, so explain Thank to us a little you. bit more about what's going on in the town, uh, the Republic of Sarah. Clearly, there's a little, you know, I guess, uh, what we see on the surface, and then there's the underlining of it all. Totally. Yeah, it's about a 25-year-old history teacher who kind of turns her town into their own country. So her and all of her friends and her students, which I play one of her students, um, we all kind of turn a town into our country. So it's a, a really ambitious plot, but we're all really proud of it. And um, yeah, I'm excited to kind of see where it all goes. It's fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, by the way, the trailers absolutely look fantastic. Every time I see them, I'm kind of glued to what's going on. You play uh, uh, totally. Bella, but your mm -hmm. character has joined forces with, with some students. So it's an unlikely duo, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I basically am the mayor of the town's daughter before um, it's, it turns into a country. So my dad and the teacher are kind of at odds with each other. Um, and then I am one of the students, so I want to be kind of this young activist um, and help out and, um, you know, get to be a part of history. So there's, there's like the trio of kids that... Um, kind of go against what the town initially oh, was and we want to make history so it's fun yeah you know that's very different from some of the other project that you have been on when you fuller house the sitter uh you had a bit of a oh, potty mouth in the sitter i did yeah yeah that was my first project i was um i definitely wasn't allowed to say any of those words off camera i was only 10 um but yeah that was a fun one. Oh my gosh <laughs> that only was 10 yeah what I feel like the sitter came out like yesterday. Old. Oh my goodness! What'd you oh, say? I feel like the sitter just came out yesterday. You're like all grown up now. My goodness. I know. Time flies, dude. Insane. Oh, yeah. I know. Seriously. So drama versus comedy. What do you What are you kind of drawn towards? Um, they're both challenging for me in different ways. So I think it's just like kind of whatever roles are challenging for me. But um, I. I love the energy on set both ways. I love to kind of sob my eyes out in the scene and then I love to, you know, laugh in a scene. It's just kind of um, whatever script I like. But um, You're an yeah, emotional I, roller my coaster. goal is to be able to go kind of back and forth. <laughs> I know. My goal is kind of to be able to go back and forth and uh, work for a long time. That so. takes some skill. Hey, I got to get a little personal here uh, because I am a huge Dallas Cowboys fan and I heard that you are named after former coach Tom Landry. Is that true? I am. I am. Um, my parents work in sports, and he passed away when my mom was pregnant with me. Um, and they always loved him as a person, and he was such a like a great man. And so they wanted kind of a unique name, but um, something fun, and they went with Landry. It's kind of unique. I like I it. I love it. So are you a Cowboys fan? I'm not. Oh, I, I oh. That is not, not like the right team. answer. No, 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 no. We, we can rewrite um, this. No, we can I rewrite love it. Them, but the answer is yes. Totally. Uh, <laughs> okay. The answer is yes. I do love them. I'm just not. Um, because my parents worked in sports, they were never like biased towards a particular right. team. They've always kind of covered everything. Okay. Um, so I've never had like my go-to team, but maybe I need to take them on. Yeah, yeah. you might want to take up. I just have a personal yeah. question as I redesign <laughs> my house. Are those cabinets behind you? <laughs> They are. Um, like my kitchen mom's cabinets? very. They no, they're next to the kitchen, so there's like a ton of storage in here. I love they're it. They're nice, huh? Yeah, I gotta talk yeah, to you offline. Good. I need that. Okay. okay, there's like office supplies in here <laughs> and like. He wants me to open I need a wider picture, so we'll talk <laughs> offline. Uh, Landry, it might be a little messy. I don't know if I want to open it up. It's but, okay. you know. Keep it closed. Keep it closed. Don't embarrass her. Hey, uh, great meeting you. Thank yes. you for being here this morning, waking up early for us. We appreciate you. Of course, always. Nice to meet you guys. Have a good one. You, you too. too. And you can see her on the new CW series, The Republic of Sarah, right here 
on PIX11. That is tonight at 9. Thanks, Landry. Go Cowboys.